So, I'm starting my Flask project from scratch, and first of all, I need a virtual environment. I will use virtual env, but you can use pip env. Now I have to activate it. And uh, I prefer to use a subfolder app for my projects. So I've got this file structure. VNF is the folder of my virtual environment, and the app folder is the folder for my Flask app. Okay. Now I can install Flask. And now I want to create files for my project. Small Flask application we can implement only in one file, and it's very cool. But I want to create four files for this project. The config file, config py. The config I want to use to store the configuration of my project. Then I want to use the app py file. It will contain a code of my application, the main, it's an entry point, and uh, the views py file. The views py file will contain functions for handling a user's requests. And first of all, I need to create an instance of the Flask class. So I'm opening the app py file. And here I am importing the Flask class. And uh, I'm creating an instance of the Flask class. It will be the app variable. And the constructor of the Flask class takes the name variable as a required argument. The name variable is the name of the current file. It's the required argument because Flask will use this name to build paths to other files of the project. HTML files, static files, CSS, JavaScript, etc. And uh, to run my application, I have to create an entry point of the project. So I am opening main py file and here I am importing my app variable from the app module. From app import app app run i'm calling the run method flask has own development server that uses 5000 port and now i'm starting it python main py and now i want to set debug mode to true because i don't want to restart the server manually any time when files of the project are changed. So this time I need the config py file and here I am creating the class config and debug variable in uppercase equals to true. And uh, to use this config class I have to import it to my app py model. from config dot here means the current folder import config class flask class has a config dictionary that i can populate in five ways but i want to use the from object method because i have created the config class and i'm using app config dictionary and i'm calling the from object method that takes my config class as an argument. And now in views py model, I want to import the app variable from app import app. And uh, I want to remind you that app variable is the Flask object. And here I'm ready to write a function that will handle requests to my app. The road function is a Flask class method that creates an association between the URL I specified as its argument, it's a root URL of the project, 
add uh, the index function. It means that all requests to this URL will be handled by index function. And uh, under the hood, Flask uses dictionary like, like this, where the key is a URL and the value of that key is a function that handles all requests to this key. More about decorators you can watch in my decorators guide video. So, the index function will return the hello world string. I have the views py file in my project, but Flask doesn't know yet that there is the views py file. And to fix it, I have to import the views py file in my main py file. Import views. Now, as I set the debug mode to true, I want to restart my server. He doesn't like my dot. Okay. Again. Okay. Debug mode on. Great. Now I want to open Chrome browser. And localhost 5000 port number has hello world string. Okay. Actually, the same way we can use multiple root decorators to set the same behavior for multiple addresses. For example, I can create a new one to blog, for example. Server restarted. And uh, I have the same behavior for blog page 2. OK. Also, the returning string can have HTML tags. For example, let's say it will be h1. I have no blog page anymore and the hello world is a h1 header. Okay, but as you can guess, it's very inefficient way and usually HTML templates are used for that. And uh, to use HTML templates, first of all, I have to create them. So I'm creating a new template folder, templates folder. Flask knows that the templates folder contains HTML files for an application and inside the templates folder I'm creating an index.html file that will have some basic layout. And now I have to return to a user this index.html template. So in the views.py file the returning value will be the result of the render template function that I have to import from flask import render template and the first argument of the render template function is uh, my index HTML template. Let's test it. And we can see basic layout of my index.html template. OK. The next step is to pass into the index.html template some data from this Python function. For example, I have an animal. I have the variable defined in the index function. And to pass the animal variable to the template, to the index HTML, I can define a new named argument for rendered template. And the name of this argument will be the name of the variable I can use in the template. So let's say it will be the name variable. 
and the value of this name variable is the value I want to render in index.html. That will be an animal variable. And uh, in the index.html template, I have to use paired curly brackets to render the value of the past variable. The variable was name. And if I refresh the page, I can see the value of the animal variable that I passed into the index.html in the name variable. It was the very basic Flask application and if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel.